Hey folks, it's been a while since the last video. Um, been busy with stuff, whatnot, but uh, my new uh, model showed up that I'm super excited about and thought I would do an unboxing for. This obviously, it's not in the plastic, so it's not the first unboxing. Had a problem with one of the books that came with this, so I had to email Forge World and get them to fix that up. So I wanted to check this at the same time so I didn't have to do it in two emails. So it's already been opened, but put back the way I found it. So. First things first, fancy box that I'm sure everyone will keep after you spent this type of money on a model. But I'm uh, going to go through and show you Horus here, the War Master. So, first things first, you get uh, one clamshell, one Horus Heresy card. Kind of gives you some uh, pointers on attaching some of the uh, banisters. And a second clamshell in here so we'll go through them uh, one at a time we'll leave the big one for last so well the stuff is uh was nicely packed in here um here we got the head and uh some of the leather bits that hang off his armor i'm gonna zoom in so you guys can get some of the uh, detail on the head here Take a minute to get it focused. There we go. So, uh, let's see if we can get that in a little better. There. So that's his head. It's got a good amount of detail. Uh, no real flaws, from what I could tell. Same with the back. It's a little bit of flash. It's going to need to be cleaned, but I fully suspect that with uh, almost everything in here. Uh, Next piece, stay zoomed in, um, is, the, is the cape, second there, so nice amount of detail on the skulls, we got uh, some of the Eye of Horus symbols on there, the wolf pelt, um, there's even some space in between, you can see where the flash has got to be cleaned off there, um, but nice folds in the cloak, some lining on there, so a little bit of clean up here, but all in all, not too bad. These are uh, the banister pieces. There's three of them. One of them broke off the sprue here, as you can tell. So these are the three banisters that attach to the railing. And this is the broken off one from the picture here. So this guy will be on the end there. Those aside. So now uh, the scenic base. I'm really super impressed with the uh, the base for this model. It's uh, one of the main reasons I ended up picking it up. So here's the uh, the big part of the base. As you can see, a uh, big chunk of flash is going to need, need to be cleaned off there. But the stairs and the the base itself. I'll zoom in here. Get you some. Uh, detail on the, to the stairs so you can see some of the writing from the Horus Heresy, Sithonia that's uh, really good detail in there um, from what I've seen there wasn't even much I was going to have to clean up uh, this part in the center here is uh, where Horus's base himself is going to go this fits in there and then this is the other part of the base here the uh, quilla head it actually fits in quite nicely of course it won't cooperate now there we go so you can see it fits in there good and tight there's a piece uh, needs to glue in over here but otherwise yeah let's get a little bit of view on the eagle head so good detail again not a lot of flash to clean up uh, on this a little bit of sanding to clean it up but and then the man himself the detail on this guy is awesome um, good size model uh, let's see I got some space marines I'm painting over here got a side by side comparison so it's a uh, He's a big boy. 
So, uh, good size model. Um, so I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can really truly appreciate all the detail in here. So as you can see, before you glue his head in, there's a number of pipes and hoses and everything else back there that are gonna need to be painted. Uh, good detail on the wolf face and the teeth. All the individual rivets one by one, um, all along the armor here. Um, I really, really, really like this. The leg guards, everything. Just uh, really, really clean. Uh, the back, obviously flat, that's where the cape goes, but a little bit of clean up on the back of the legs from uh, obviously where the mold lines are, but pretty minimal all in all. I clean up way more than this on a pack of basic Space Marines before I even glue them together. So, you know, a couple little things to clip under the arms here, under each one. But, uh, yeah, well, it looks like uh, I forgot to uh, review his weapons in my <laughs> excitement to bust him out of the box and show everyone. That's in the uh, original clamshell back over here. Completely forgot about that. So we got the... Uh, the railing, top of the railing, the banisters go to his um, weapon, which as you can see is slightly skewed. So I'm gonna need to blow dry that or hot water it or something to get it bent in the proper shape. Um, again, I'm surprised at the small amount of flash that's on this that's gonna need to be cleaned up. Um, you know, these little points on things, especially in resin, usually come out pretty muddled, but they came out uh, really good here. Again, the leather tassels hanging there. So, and then uh, his iconic weapon that ends up uh, being used by Abaddon. The uh, claw here with the boulders. So, pretty excited about this. I, uh, I'm a big fan of the first three novels of the Horus Heresy series. Um, not too far into the remaining novels, but this is... Uh, going to be a slow go project because I want to make sure it's uh, done 100% right so there you go Horus unboxed everybody uh, hope you enjoyed the video